Hi. So, can you invest lump sum in the equity market? Do you know what is STP? For sure, STP is not serious treatment plan. So, it's all about investment. So, if you are watching this video live, thanks for watching. And if you're watching the recorded version, thanks for watching it too. Please share this video with your friends who are who would like to know much more about investment and how to approach and if they want to invest lump sum or in anything in equity specifically equities just share this video with those friends alone who wants to invest in equities and make big returns so big big so if you want that then keep watching this video and i'm ganeshan your author and a millionaire coach i wrote the book money leaks and it has been launched by jack canfield in national achievers conference in jan 13 so that is a proud achievement I can share. And what is, and before that, today is a Valentine's Day. I would like to share, uh, say that happy Valentine's Day to each and everybody. And if you're married, please make sure you have a better money, lots of money to keep your marriage life uh, good and with better lifestyle. So just jumping in to today's topic, it's all about uh, should I invest in equities? I had so many queries and so many people that uh, shall I invest now or later? If you're someone who wants to invest a lump sum in equities and if it, uh, it, it, it doesn't need to be done directly in equities, it's alone. You can just approach other way. It's like uh, taking the other way road to your destination and it's a better way. You don't need to walk in a uh, go in a way which is not proper. The road is not proper. It's like investing in equities. It's like uh, market will go ups and downs and ups and downs and people will be saying the same thing. Uh, market will go down, will crash, and you should wait. And specifically now, it's like uh, election is approaching in a six months time, in four five months time, and people will be questioning like, uh, uh, should I invest in equity? So I just got a question like, uh, what's the what's ideal investment horizon for equity so we'll come to it thanks for the question gurmit and uh, i'll just answer the question so ideal investment horizon at least four five years so if it is equities so if you don't have the timeline just don't jump in or don't invest don't start because you will just first you need to know why you need to invest in equities and why that is the ideal investment for people who are looking at long-term investment so the first point is like, uh, when is the right time to invest in equities? So you can't judge. So that is the only thing because market is volatile. You know that better. If you were specifically working, uh, wants to invest through direct equities directly into share market, then this video is not for that. This video is not meant for people who wants to get into direct equities. I am just saying about how to take a, another approach to invest in equities that is about uh, systematic transfer plan in um, mutual funds via mutual funds so because equities is like it takes lots of time you need to analyze you need to watch the news and so much stuff is involved but when you invest in mutual funds through the other way around like uh, I have so many people wants to invest a lump sum one lakh or two lakhs during this Jan to March period and what they do is just they just jump in and uh, put their money in uh, FDs or other stuff and even at any point of time they want to invest and but they still stay away thinking market will crash down let me catch the market at the bottom see market you never know when the market will fall or when the market will go up is it the right bottom it will always be there so if you are investing a lump sum amount say you are investing 5 lakhs 10 lakhs so the better option would be put your money in liquid fund which is very safe i can say uh, on par with fixed deposits you will be getting seven six to seven percent of returns uh, as per current standards of uh, bank deposit rates, uh, repo rate. So let's not get in technical like how much interest. You will get around 6-7% as of now. So on a daily basis you can withdraw at any point of time and then uh, transfer it to the equity fund which you want to. For example, it can be uh, if it is a long term requirement. Say uh, your grandfather has gifted to your kid and you want to put and he wants to put that money for a long term good returns. So instead of putting it in FD or getting a child insurance policy or whatever it is, better put their money in liquid fund right now and then transfer it on a monthly basis. If it is a five lakh, just go for a monthly investments of 20,000 or 25,000 per month into any small cap or mid cap fund. And uh, because your kid is very small, maybe one to three years of age or even till five years of age. And for if it is for his, his kid's education, for 
uh, his grandson's education or granddaughter's education it will be till they reach 18 because at that time only you will need that lots of money because this is the ideal situation in uh, so many families life because recently uh, one of my friend has uh, uh, sent want to send his sons to foreign education but he had prepared for 15 to 20 lakhs of uh, uh, for his kids son's education but what happened is he went to foreign and the amount jumped like anything now his requirement is for the next four years it's it's around 80 lakhs 70 to 80 lakhs because it's foreign uh, specifically outside india and his second son who is just going to come out of the school life and he wants to get into another big college that is in ireland and uh, he wants to get into uh, he, and his investment is around uh, i mean his college investment is around touching one crore who would have expected 15 18 years ago that his there's both of his sons will go somewhere outside outside india for their education and even now he is very much committed that he will send his son for any any he will do whatever it takes to for his son's education but what can he do now apart from taking a loan or liquidating his assets that is that. for people who are having a kids in the range of just five six seven eight till eight or whatever till ten and if you're lump sum investment or your kids your just born baby and your grandparents wants to invest money for your your kids just take that amount put it in liquid fund it's 15 years or 10 to 15 years put that money lock it up and uh, just monitor how it is working check with an advisor or just you can monitor yourself once in a while and see if it is progressing once in a three six three to six months period because last two years returns are negative but if it is a three to five years time returns are around 12 to 15 percent so that is a case with uh, investing for a long term and using stp that is a way of mutual uh, that is a way in uh, investing in a mutual fund so you can also you, you by the way by the way of stp you are investing in equities also and you're not getting the headache you're not getting the headache of investing in uh, stock market and checking again and again like should i check market has gone down should i worry because if the market is down you are uh, part of your buy stp you are going to buy more units if market is up you are going to buy this you are going to spend the same amount so by this way you don't need to worry and again if it is next 15 years you don't need to worry just take a uh, let us consider an example of uh, what is the market value in 2003 it's around three to four thousand points sensex i'm saying bsc sensex and now it is around thirty five thousand. consider the time uh, number of times it has jumped more than 10 close to 10 times so that is how it can happen even if that is not the case at least five to ten times i'm saying bare minimum and macro conditions and whatever global condition india is poised to grow in the next uh, two three decades so you don't need to worry about whether the market will just go down like anything and you need to take care if you're going to withdraw in the within a year or two so that is another topic which we can discuss later because this will go on and on as of now if you are investing a lump sum and lump sum amount don't worry invest uh, slowly by stp if any of your friends or uh, agents or whomsoever is asking to put a lump sum in uh, mutual funds just say them that uh, looks market is high just check in the money control or economic times or uh, just google it up you know the market is going to be volatile in the next six months instead of worrying just suggest him that let's put it in uh, liquid fund and transfer it via stp this is the best way i think so and you can also check it out and google like uh, is it the right way because you don't need to wait because once you keep the money you will spend it anyway because i had seen so many people uh, money was there last week sir this week it, it has gone i had spent it like anything you would have gone for vacation you would have gone got a new uh, car which is not in the plan uh, anything will come up expense will come like anything and if you are into business business you know how the money gets leaked every day so that is the scenario so any amount if you have it as a lump sum just have it in a liquid fund and then put it up in a transfer it in a equity mutual fund by the way of stp uh, any questions just mention uh, put it in the comment section or message me i'll be happy to help you and if you have any queries related to systematic transfer plan or how to invest in mutual funds in the current scenario, uh, what will happen if elections, uh, who, will, who, who will win? Is, is it BJP or Congress? We don't, have, we don't need to get into that, those kind of topics. Let's leave all those things and just focus on what will happen to the money.
that is the only thing right because we need we want to be rich and wealthy so you don't need to focus on uh, local politics or international politics because you just focus on your way of investment and what is your goal you are investing for a long term and you are approaching equities for the long term so the path is clear goal is clear just put it in liquid fund and then transfer it this is very simple and just make sure when you need that money that is the only thing you should be much clear of then everything else is taken care if you have any doubts after watching this video just message me or put down in your comment section or any queries related to uh, whatever we are dis we are see discussed till now i'll be happy to help. please share this video with your friends who wants to invest and who just have uh, just born babies and uh, who are uh, kids who are just getting into the school life they are just i mean just they are around three or four who wants to get into the school so share this video specifically with them so they know how to plan for their um, son's education right now so that their future life is taken care so if you're a uh, take a how to say that if you're a caring parent take care of your son's education right now when they are small instead of worrying a lot and getting stressed when they are at 18 17 or 18 so thanks for watching any doubt just put it down i'll be happy to help you and happy to share my uh, come and share my knowledge and everything thanks for watching please share this video with your friends see you again with another video by next week thank you all